Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 51, adding lists and forms in the new Power Apps Portals Maker experience. As part of the shift from Dynamics 365 Portals to Power Apps Portals, Microsoft has been significantly investing in a new authoring experience. In this tip, I'll show you how to add entity lists and entity forms to a page in the new Maker experience. After clicking the Edit button on your portal from make.powerapps.com, you should see the new Maker experience. Select a page using the Pages area in the left-hand menu to enable the Components area. In the Components area, you have options for Form and for List. If you'd like to add a form, you can either use an existing entity form or create a new one. When creating a new one, you get basic options like which entity, which form, the mode, what it should do once submitted, as well as some capture settings, and whether you want to enable entity permissions. It's important to note that this is just a small subset of the options available for configuring entity forms. To configure further, you'll need to use the Portal's model-driven app. It's a similar story for lists. You can select between an existing one or creating a new one. When creating a new one, you get basic options like which entity, which views, and which actions. However, if you want advanced configurations, at this point you'll still need to use the Portal's model-driven app. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 51 on adding lists and forms in the new Power Apps Portals Maker experience useful.